Okay, guys. We got a lush kitchen hall and a mysterious box that I don't know what's in it, but I make random orders, so I might have ordered something that I just can't remember. So let's see what's in the mysterious box. Ooh, a little note. Okay, I'll read that in a minute. Some poofy stuff. Um, and a thingy. What is this thingy? Ooh, it's a lush bag, so it's something I ordered off somebody. Ooh, this is a nice little lush bag. I haven't seen this one before. I don't have a lush store by me, so... You know, I either get the blue bags from the kitchen or whatever I order off, like, eBay or Macari and people send it in these bags. That's how I ever get the bags, but... Oh, another one of these! Wow, this one seems like it's made a little different and it's made much smaller than my other ones. I don't know, this one seems odd. It smells beautiful, though. Yeah, this one was definitely made different. That's crazy. Anyway, hang on a second. I'm gonna grab my other ones. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Now, I got all three of them. Um, this is the one I just got. Look how thin it is. It looks kind of like it maybe had, like, melted a little bit or something back here. But, I mean, it's not hot or nothing. Eh, there's no heat or nothing. It's not pliable. But look here, this is how, like, I guess handmade products that are not, like, you know, massively produced or something. I guess they are massively produced if you think about it. But here's the difference in them. This one's thin and kind of kind of crappy. <laughs> this one's much thicker, heavier, and the backing's a lot different. And then we have this guy over here, who's kind of like in between. He's kind of thinnish, a little different. He's got a little more gold to him. This one looks like the pink melted over. And there you have it. There's all three of them. I love this scent. I'm not sure what kind of scent it is, but I went nuts. And I only bought one when they came out, just so I can do my little donation to charity type deal. But I kind of kicked myself in the ass afterwards, because I wish I had more. So now, anytime I see them on, like, uh, Macari, eBay, something like that, I try and snatch them up. And I haven't found that many. So this is the fourth one I have. The uh, Actually, it's the fifth one, if you consider the one that I purchased. Now, let's get into Lush Kitchen. Look, it actually got stuck in friggin' customs. Like, I've never seen this before coming from the UK. Um, it actually got stuck on the US side. So the US customs actually went through it to make sure it was legit. So, I'm actually going to take the invoice out and make sure that everything is still in because, you know, things get lost in transit and messed up. Especially when somebody's dipped their hands into it already on me, so. Alright, here's all the cars, the little peoples who make the stuff. There's that guy, there's that guy, and then there's that guy. It seems like the same, like, group of people make everything. Here is the lush thingy. Okay, here's our thingy that shows us what we ordered. Let's go through this. A sec. All right. This way I can follow it down as we go. And here is the naked guy who's way too happy to be wet. And if you don't know what this is, this is the Lush catalog, basically. Uh, let me get a good grip on it and I can show it to you. Son of a bitch. Hold on. All right. Now, in here has all their products. It's got products. It's got stuff that I've never seen before. It's got some cool pictures. Like, look at this stuff. Like, hold on, let me open this. This is their, their eyeshadow. I want one of these so bad, but I guess unless you walk into the Oxford Street store, you're not going to get it. Um, so, I do have this place on uh, Facebook that uh, Funk Says had introduced me to, and the girl will actually do orders on Oxford Street for you, and all you do is pay her. But here, here's all the cool eyeshadows. Right? Isn't that awesome? I'd love to have an eyeshadow like that. I don't really wear makeup too much, but here's toner tabs, facial stuff hair stuff, which I recently just found out that henna is poop. So, I will not be using henna by any time, or any chance, soon. Uh, this is more hair stuff. Hair stuff. <laughs> hair stuff. Come on, hair stuff. Go to the other shit. There we go. Massage bars. I love strawberry feels. That's an awesome smell. Um, I want to try from Dust Till Dawn, but, you know, as you guys know, if you see my previous videos, everything that I've been ordering that is massage bar-wise or facial moisturizer stuff, it melts. Um, I have a few massage bars. I think they're cool. I have, yes, I have this Tender is the Night one. Um, I have that Pearl one, which pisses me off because those pink beads are hard and scratchy and they hurt. So I think I'm going to melt it down and get the pink beads. I have the Pumice Stone. Um, I have the other deodorants, which I don't like them. You know, like the Tito deodorant? I have these two. These two deodorants I have. I don't like them. I don't think they do their job. Um, maybe because I haven't transitioned over from, like, using... I have this... I like that a lot. It smells like comforter. Um, maybe because I haven't transitioned completely over 
to using natural deodorants, but I tried almost all of these soaps. Uh, I still felt like I stunk. These I love. I love these, like, graph pictures. Sorry, you see my, my knee there. I got my shorts on. Um, my fat leg. Oh, I also wanted to say to Tammy from the uh, Atomic Bomb, she's a subscriber on my thing. I'm subscribed to her as well. She puts up these awesome videos, and she makes bath bombs. She has a shop on Etsy. Uh, you can also contact her through everywhere. Etsy, through her YouTube channel, everything. Uh, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And that's it. So happy birthday to you, Tammy. Happy to have you in my life. Okay, she's really awesome. Though. She's really cool. She makes bath bombs, and she's, like, really down-to-earth and really honest and stuff, and she will actually sit there. Like, she told me what could have been wrong with the Porcelain Wolf bath bomb yesterday and things like that. Anytime I have, like, a question, I'll just ask her, and she pretty much, she, she's right on the ball. She's really nice, though. I love watching her videos. All right, here we go. Let's dig out some of this crap. Okay, we have 19 minutes to go through this before my battery's dead. Okay, I did pick up the Retread hair conditioner. Because uh, it worked really well. And I just made another mistake and I fried my hair yet again because I stripped it out, made it blonde, and then threw in the ash blonde dye. So once again, I've tortured my hair again. Okay, so we have Retread. Yes, Retread, Retread. Um, I also picked up another bottle of Happy Happy Joy Joy. I love that conditioner. Oh man, it smells so good. I picked up another bottle of American Cream hair conditioner. Um, American Cream, I don't really give too much of a shit about. I just like to use it in place of Happy Happy Joy Joy. Which, these two conditioners, and this one really, I mean, this one was pretty good. But these two conditioners are basically used for a scent purpose because they don't really make my hair soft or silky or anything like that. Uh, it could be because my shit's damaged beyond recognition. But, I really feel like they don't really do much. So I just use them after I shampoo. I put a little bit of either this one in when I get sick of this smell, I'll use this one for this smell. But I just put a little bit in just so that my hair smells pretty. This stuff, I think this is the one a lot of people say they didn't like because of the scent or something, but I kind of like the scent. It kind of reminds me of like cantaloupe almost. Um, oh, 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 we got one of these. We got one of these. All right, this is the how to not wrap thingy. If you haven't seen one of these, it kind of just shows you like, you know, how to wrap up certain things. Let me shake that open. How to wrap certain things or how to basically wrap yourself up. In a written not wrap, see? That's cool, right? I like getting those. Ooh, look, that's cool. You put it in, like, make it like a, a notebook thing. Whatever. But, if you order the vintage not wraps... Now, this is what I learned. If you order the vintage not wraps... Wow, this is really silky and shiny. They send you a little scarf of whatever different kind of vintage, vintage wraps they have. You don't get... This is a weird-looking one. It kind of reminds me of, like, It. You ever see Stephen King's It? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> okay, let's move that along. That one's ugly as sin. But I got another one from them the last time, and it's beautiful. But if you order the vintage uh, knot wrap, you don't get the same knot wrap that's shown. You get whatever knot wrap they have in their vintage, you know, uh, closet, basically. So you just get a random pick, which I thought that was really cool. So, like, every time I order now, I want to order a vintage one and see if I can collect all of them. We also got some dirty spring wash shower gel. I fell in love with the dirty scent because I got a small sample of the perfume. So I really, really, really fell in love with it, and I loved it. To, like every, I mean, I loved everything about it, so I started grabbing it. Um, let's see. Dig out more foam. I got a whole bed full of foam right now, because I open this stuff on top of my bed. I have, I have a big king-size bed, so it kind of gives me a lot of room to move shit around and do shit. Oh, oh, oh! Sample bag! Yeah, baby. I love Lush Sample Bag. Because you get to try everything before you actually purchase a big product. Lush is an extremely expensive retailer. I can't afford everything from them, so if it's something I don't know much about, I'm going to ask for a sample, try it, see if it works, see if I like it, and then I'll friggin', you know, then I'll, I'll buy it. Oh, Cynthia Stout. This is that, like, beer shampoo. I'm going to try that out. Everybody says it really works well. I'm going to try it and see what it says. More fun. I love fun. Add that to the collection. Veganese. This is the worst conditioner in the world. Do not make a conditioner made out of lemons because your hair will turn crunchy. Okay, oh, we have the Magical Morgana Facial Moisturizer. That's cool. Definitely gonna try that. Oh, wow. It melted. <laughs> and we have Skin Shuggy LA Facial Moisturizer. And this was the other one, right? This was the Veganese shit. I hate Veganese. Oh, my hands are greasy now. Let's see. What else we got? What else we got? Okay, we have some other stuff in here. Um, I have a tin. It's a, a tin. Lush tins. 
Basically, these things are way overpriced for a crappy piece of metal, but if you want the Lush brand name on something, you grab them. Uh, I am a Lush collector, so therefore I grab them. We got here... Oh, this is the new Sea Monster Fun one. It's three different scents, and it's supposed to smell like the, um... Shit, I can't remember the name of the soap, but it's the soap. You guys know what it is. If anyone knows what it is, leave it in the comments. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's the green soap with the sea salt on the bottom, or actually on the top. I don't know. Oh, it actually smells pretty good. It smells a lot better. It smells like that soap plus a little bit of, like, lavender, I guess, and chamomile. I don't know. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We're running out of time. Running out of time. Oh, okay. This is a had to. I don't know. I just kind of had to. I fell in love with the scent of the frozen bath bombs, so I grabbed another one. Hurry, baby, okay? Oh. <laughs> Wolf kicked the remote out of, of uh, Richie's hand. <laughs> He's getting to be a little bugger, man. That kid don't sleep at all. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and we had to get another Intergalactic, just because this is an awesome show in the tub. This one's really freaking cool. And this one came out really nice, too. Usually I get them, they kind of flown apart. Alright, so we got the Frozen, the Intergalactic. What else we got? I'm technically using the phone to look in here. Okay. This one took a while to get here. I was a little shocked. I got another one of these shampoo tins. And, oh, here we go. Here is my favorite facial soap. Oh, God, it's starting to melt. Wish the last time they wrapped it in a piece of wax paper and it was okay. This time they didn't wrap it in shit. I'm getting a little pissed that they're not even using wax paper on these things anymore. But this is my favorite facial soap. And um, house guest from hell wound up cutting herself a massive chunk of it. So I had to order more, just in case. Um... In case she used it up on me. <laughs> Let's see. In these little boxes, I don't think I feel anything else. Nosy, nosy, nosy. I usually leave shit behind. Let's get to the bags. All right. Oh, heavy, 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 heavy. That one feels so heavy. I don't know why. All right, here we go. We have these two. Which? Oh, no. A leakage. Let's peel this shit open. Come on. Shit, man, you know, the only problem with Lush is that they do this thing where they don't want to add much packaging because it's cruelty to animals and all this shit, but if you don't want to add a lot of packaging, why don't you put a seal or something on your shit or tighten it at least? This is the Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly, which I have gone nuts looking for, and I couldn't get it on eBay because it was so outrageously priced, but I got it on the kitchen, I grabbed a couple of them, just because it's one that I'm absolutely in love with. I really love the scent, it does remind me of the comforter. And I believe it comes from the same family as the comforter. Comforter bubble bar. If you haven't smelled it, it's like that, um, black, uh, it's like a, a blackberry type smell. It's like, I don't know, blackberry, like, currant that they call it? Black currant? I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of fucking lost on that one. And I grabbed another one of the Dr. Petman shampoo before it wasn't in the kitchen anymore, because I really do like this. It makes your head tinkle. And I like the way it smells. Even though I, my hair doesn't ever smell like the shampoo when I'm done because I put conditioner in it right afterwards. Um, I guess some people don't. I don't know. I always do. It's how, it's how I was since that's how I was taught when I was a baby. So I didn't know no better. I always put conditioner in every time I wash my hair. Uh, so I just like the way it feels at first, and I like the way the actual bar smells. But you never smell it on your hair. So I don't know. Okay, next bag. Here are the other ones. Okay, here is Avo. Shower Jelly. This is another favorite. Um, I grabbed this one for my husband because he fell in love with it. So I jumped on real quick and grabbed another one. So this one is for DiRichi. Because he loves the scent of that. Which I can't blame him. I love it too. And then I grabbed two more Sweetie Pies. No, these will not be going into giveaway. These are actually going in just for me. Greedy, greedy, greedy. So this is me being greedy. I shouldn't be too greedy. But I mean, just with the Sweetie Pies, I've been trying so hard to get them. Everything else I share, which is another sweetie pie. Okay, so we have these three sweetie pies. 